Hi, my name is Christian Babolinski, and in this video, I'll show you how to refine your blob tracking in the blob tracking with RealSense Unity asset using the simple demo provided in the package. So I have the simple demo pulled up in Unity 2019.2.4, and if I hit play, you can see me being a tracked blob. I can wave to the camera. And there's two issues. One is that there's a microphone here, and another one is that if I select my hand, and I move it out of the frame and back in, it tracks as a different number. And you can select the blob by left clicking on it. So let's fix that. I'm going to go to the blob tracking object and open it up and go to the blob controller. The blob controller is responsible for detecting and tracking the blobs. To fix this microphone issue, I'm going to increase the minimum pixels required. Now, I want you to notice that the amount of pixels that are being tracked in the microphone is around 22,000 pixels, but the minimum pixel value is squared. So if I increase this just a little bit, at around 160, the microphone disappears. So now let's fix the issue with my hand losing tracking. The way to fix this is to increase the correspondence and ghost time. And the ghost time is the amount of time that a blob can remain not tracked before it is destroyed. So I increased it to 0.4 seconds. You can see that the is ghosted becomes true. And you can also see that there's a gray blob left behind. And that's the ghost. If we want to regain tracking, we would need to increase the correspondence distance, which is the distance that it will search for similar blobs after the blob has lost tracking. I'm going to increase this to 1. Now when the blob loses tracking, it regains tracking more accurately. I'm going to go through the rest of the properties on the blob detector. The increment property allows you to uh, skip a certain amount of pixels when doing a blob search. This is helpful if you want to optimize and reduce the amount of pixels that you're searching every frame. As I increase this value, you can see that the quality of the blob decreases. The minimum distance, and if I stick my hand out, and if I increase the minimum distance threshold at or five meters, my hand is no longer tracked. If I increase the max distance, the inverse is true. As I start increasing it, you start seeing the back of the room. And that's it for this video. In the next videos, I'll go over the blob input and 3D collisions.